In this video, we will be doing some technical analysis on LCX to help understand where the price is headed from here. And also, we will be taking a look at the LCX Davos reception. What actually happened? If you think that sounds interesting, go ahead and smash the like button and also subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get it. Over here, I'm on the one hour chart for LCX. And as you can see, we saw this huge wick all the way to almost 20 cents before finally things cooling off a bit. And I understood exactly what happened, what brought the price down. Because if you look at the relative strength index, we were overbought on the relative strength index. So things have to cool down a little bit before we can continue that momentum to the upside. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So over here are some technical indicators on LCX. And as you can see right here, this is the relative strength index for LCX. And that number right now is 72. Yesterday it was around 85. And anything above 70 is in the overbought territory. And anything below 30 is in the oversold territory. So right now, you can see that the technical indicator is showing that um, people are still selling. Right now, that is back to like 72. I think things are going to consolidate around this level in terms of the relative strength index and then pick up again from there. The good thing is if you look at the moving averages, Almost all of them are indicating buy, except for the whole moving average, which is indicating sell. So let's get back to the chart and see where things actually go from here. So as you can see right here, I've applied my Fibonacci retracement tool to see where the support and resistance levels are on this chart. Because of the huge price action we saw towards the upside this couple of days, things are going to move up gradually. So it could be either side movement from here or gradually creeping up until we retest that 17 cents area once again. Despite the fact that we're in a bear market, at least the true valuation for LCX, even in a bear market, should be at least 350 million US dollars in market cap. That will put the price of one LCX token to be around... 50 cents, between 45 to 50 cents. That is where the price is technically supposed to be. So right now we are grossly undervalued and people are waking up to the fact that this thing is going much higher than we are currently witnessing. None of what I'm saying is supposed to be financial advice. Be sure to do your own research before investing any of your hard earned money into a volatile cryptocurrency market. I'm just looking at this and I'm telling myself, this is the best time to what? Keep buying. I bought some when it was around three cents. And whenever I get some loose money, I'm going to keep buying. I'm going to keep buying until this thing gets to around 30 cents. Then I'm going to scale down a little bit. But right now, all I have to do is to keep buying until I feel like it's okay for me to pull back a little bit. So... Things are looking great for LCX. Let's go ahead and take a look at something that I think might interest you. And um, that is the LCX Davos reception that took place a couple of days ago. So LCX hosted an invite-only reception at Davos that brought together some of the most influential leaders, LCX and journalists in the world of crypto and other industries. The Davos reception was hosted on the occasion of the world premiere of the book, Blockchain Banking, The Future of Money and Finance, written by no other than Monty, who happens to be the CEO and founder of LCX. He also shared the stage with Don Tapscott, founder and chairman of the Blockchain Research Institute, and Jimmy Wills, founder of Wikipedia, as honorary speakers. The evening was opened by Monty sharing insights into LCX core company culture and values. Integrity, doing the right thing when nobody is watching. Excellence, thriving to deliver outstanding products. And utility, talking about the LCX family, which includes users, clients, partners, 
and the team, as well as selected group of delegates who joined the reception during the World Economic Forum of 2023. Just looking at their core values alone, what jumped at me was integrity. Because nowadays in the cryptocurrency market, lack of integrity is what is causing a lot of these projects to go down. And it is sad to say, whenever money is involved, there's also greed. We all have to understand that human behavior is unpredictable. And for me, looking at the team surrounding LCX gives me hope. Because these guys that are leading this particular blockchain technology has reputation that they wouldn't like to lose. Whoever they decide to partner with, they will make sure that they also believe in their core values before they can be able to make that strategic partnership. So there is a lot of positive things going on for LCX. And the fact that the CEO of LCX is the same person who wrote the book Blockchain Banking and is the same person who happens to be a member of the World Economic Forum, to me, this is going to be huge. Looking at the partnerships that they have with HBAR, with Quant, and other key players in the financial space, and the connections that they have with governments, I think there is something brewing here. This is not an invitation for you to make a decision based on what I'm saying. I'm only sharing this information with you to make an informed decision. Be sure to always do your research. Where do you think the price of LCX is headed in the immediate short term? Please let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and I will see you on the next one. If you've gained some value from this video, please smash the like button and share this video with your friends. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell notification button to be notified each time we post a new video. That's all I have for you for today. My name is Enes Cosmic. Thank you for watching.